Hi, everyone. So great to have you here today. I'm Renee Carlisle. I'm with Veritas Net Backup, and I focus on our virtualization and cloud environments. And I am so happy to be talking to some of my counterparts over at Red Hat. So, hey, guys, can you introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Duncan Hardy. I work in the OpenShift organization. And um, one of the areas and one of the Scrum teams I have the pleasure to work with is in the storage space, hence why I'm here today. Hey, Renee, uh, this is Anthony Herr with Red Hat as well. My focus is on OpenStack and edge computing. Fantastic. You know, we've been working together for so long now. Veritas and, and Red Hat has this great relationship to a point where we even use your technology and our hardware appliances. We've been supporting your file systems and things for a long time. So I'm so excited now for us to be diving even deeper into our OpenStack technology with you guys, with OpenShift and all the great things that are happening around Kubernetes and the hybrid cloud. We're hearing a lot of great things from our mutual customers about the Red Hat platform would love to hear more from you guys. Maybe, you know, Duncan, can you tell us a little bit more about what you're seeing from your customers that drove you to this, this platform that you guys are, are deploying? Absolutely. You, you know, it's no surprise that OpenShift's all in on a hybrid. I'm, I'm glad you used the buzzword of the year for, uh, to bring in the token point. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess looking at our customers, you know, you, we saw the industry a long time ago. I'm old enough to remember everything was bare metal or virtual machines, but you know, the cloud vendors have come online and, and customers want choice. They, they don't want to feel like they're locked into a, a particular vendor or option. Um, they also want to protect their investment. So if you're trained up in an, an environment, when you switch to another one, there's always that risk that you don't have the right skills or the right people in place. And with OpenShift, we've, we've gone after that, um, you know, heavily. Um, you know, you wherever you want to run it, wherever you want to deploy your applications, you can do it and you can have the same look and feel. So if that's bare metal or one of the many cloud providers out there or some of the new ones coming along, we'll just make that experience as seamless as possible. And, you know, we'll even go as far as um, taking that environment and managing it for you. So it is just a, a simplistic thing. And we're, we're seeing customers do that. Some are all in and just a single environment. Some use to, you know, to provide some um, high availability, which is slightly related to uh, backup, I guess. And, you know, some are doing that true hybrid bursting out into the environment. So lots, lots of different things. Also on the OpenStack side, we have your private clouds that are sitting at the customer sites and the end user premises edge or closer to the end devices. We see a number of these sites that customers are using to deploy their workloads that all need this enterprise class protection. Excellent. Yeah, we are seeing the same thing. I mean, especially in this times of, of COVID and pandemic, cloud has just taken off and, and being able to have platforms like you guys have provided with OpenStack and OpenShift, I think has really helped accelerate this cloud journey. And as we've been talking to our customers and looking, a few things are apparent to us as well. One is these environments sometimes aren't the easiest to understand without having this framework of familiarity about it to make these things easier for our customers. I think you guys have seen that. We've seen this. It's very important to be able to understand how applications are you know, deployed on these, to understand the applications, to be able to natively protect the applications. So OpenStack being able to really understand how things are laid out there, being able to deploy in the, the over cloud there, um, just really understanding the nature of that application so that we can protect it and be able to bring the entire environment back, being able to bring a single file back, being able to really help the multi-tenancy nature of OpenStack that our mutual customers are really demanding from us. And then with Kubernetes, really just understanding the, the portability aspects of, of OpenShift and being able to use native constructs and extensible things that can really work well in a Kubernetes fashion but yet bring this into this framework where you don't have to be an expert in Kubernetes or, or OpenStack in order to be able to protect the environment. And having that simplicity to within a few clicks be able to protect and recover those environments are key for our customers. So similar concepts that being able to bring this into a framework that's familiar, but being able to take advantage of all the great technology that these new technologies are providing to be able to adopt cloud 
but be able to make sure that we get those applications back and healthy and, and resilient like our large enterprise customers that we both have to support expect from us. So that's great. We're also seeing a lot of this um, wanting to run in multiple clouds, you know, not just on-prem anymore, but being able to run in one or more clouds. Duncan, you're probably seeing a lot of that. What are you seeing in that space for, for a multi-cloud journey? Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, it comes as part of hybrid that there's going to be some point where you'll want to move or burst and, and you're given the customer tools to do that. And there's, and there's different approaches around it. And I guess to kind of, you know, bring in the backup story again, we were pretty aware in OpenShift that there was an opportunity to improve on, you know, what we do backup wise. And one of those things is to allow, I, I don't know whether we'd use the term lift and shift in this case, but that's the way my old brain kind of thinks about things too. To kind of achieve that and you know we want to have as broad an ecosystem as possible and what we then went away and did was kind of um introduced oadp which is like an api to enable this backup and you know hopefully you know very well i know you're going to talk about this in a moment that veritas took advantage of that and i think you know the lift and shift that you're talking about here or the move i guess would be a better way to put it is something that we definitely see customers wanting to do Fantastic. Yeah, we've seen definitely the value of that and the framework that you've provided. Tools like OADP allows us to unify those clouds so that a customer can run OpenShift anywhere and know that we can protect that. We can protect it on-prem, we can protect it in the cloud. So really gives them that flexibility and choice to be able to run those applications and platforms wherever they need to. I know one of the things we hear a lot from our customers about why they chose OpenShift and Kubernetes technology is this concept of I want to be able to build it once and deploy it anywhere. And we're following that same construct and we want to be able to make sure they can back it up once and recover it anywhere. So it's it's great to see that customers have that choice and flexibility with Red Hat and with Veritas. Um, so it's, it's great. I know we've had a long-term partnership. Like I said, we use you in our appliances. We've been protecting you from our file systems all the way through now these exciting new um, technologies in the cloud and extend that. So I can't wait to see where this relationship and where you know this deeper integration goes next. And we appreciate partners like Veritas working with us to fulfill enterprise class RPO and RTO requirements for our customers as well. Those are the ones that they need to ensure that their sites are backed up and restored properly, as well as covering the plethora of sites that they're, they're deployed at. All right, well, it's been great talking to you guys. Have a great day.